Hello, my name is Michael Brennan, and I have, uh, with uh, Werner Monson, my uh, co-author, um, have written a paper that will be published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings in the spring of 2014. The title of the, uh, of the manuscript is Professionalism, Good for Patients, but also for Healthcare Organizations. Professionalism is uh, a key component in the compact between patients and doctors, but also society and the medical profession. It is one founded and based upon uh, trust, and in particular putting the needs of patients first. Over the past 25 or 30 years, a very rich literature on professionalism has appeared in peer-reviewed uh, journals. It is uh, focused mainly on the individual attributes and behaviors of professionalism, how it may be taught, how it may be measured and inculcated in learners as well as in uh, medical staffs. More recently, attention has also focused on the professionalism of organizations, for the organization must provide a professional and conducive environment so that the individual attributes and, and behaviors of professionalism can thrive within an organization. Uh, Werner Monson and I have reviewed much of the literature and have um, particularly sought out empirical evidence that would point to the benefits that would come from a combination of individual and organizational uh, professionalism. And we have identified several for which there is good empiric evidence. These would include the, uh, an increase in trust, both in patients, in their doctors, but of course also in the healthcare organization in which they're seeking help. It also is proving to be uh, a powerful uh, recruitment and retention tool uh, for new staff uh, for which there is increasing competition these days. Uh, there is also strong evidence that the quality uh, and safety of patient care is enhanced in organizations that embrace and uh, are indeed professional at their, at their core and are truly values uh, driven. There is no doubt also that it pro provides a very conducive learning environment for um, altruistic young people who come into teaching hospitals uh, oftentimes find that what they ha are observing is uh, discrepant with what they uh, actually have been taught and what their understanding of professionalism is. So we hope that you will enjoy reading our article and, and uh, perhaps reflecting upon the evidence we have provided. We believe in, in summary that it will be very good for uh, not only the patients, but also the, those who are caring for them, and indeed for the organization. It will certainly enhance their reputation and their brand. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.